It's Bachelor Father. Starring John Forsythe. Brought to you by the cigarette with the remarkable new dual filter. New dual filter Tariton. Remember, the Tariton ring marks the real thing. New dual filter Tariton. Look for the ring, ring, ring. You get a dual filter, not just one. In dual filter Tariton. For mild, full, flavor fast. The dual filter filters as no single filter can. Dual filter, dual filter Tariton. Yes, for mild, full flavor, Tariton's dual filter filters as no single filter can. Here's why. You get a pure white outer filter, plus an exclusive inner filter of activated charcoal. Definitely proved to make cigarette smoke mild and smooth. Together, they give you flavor balance. The best taste of the best tobaccos, pack after pack. Remember, Tariton's Dual Filter does it for the real thing in mildness and fine tobacco taste. Get the real thing yourself. New Dual Filter Tariton. Remember, Peter, you've got to be very clever. I don't want Uncle Bentley to know I'm getting him a new golf bag for his birthday, and still I want to make sure he wants it. Don't worry, niece Carrie. I'll be clever. You're sure? What do you mean, sure? Ever hear Wiley Oriental? That me. I saw Wiley often I scare myself. <laughs> well, don't be so Wiley he finds out. I want this to be a surprise. After all, it's not easy to buy a gift for a man who has everything. Not have gift, I suggest. Peter, I don't think he would like an electric foot vibrator. Very good gift. Massage feet. Excellent for men on feet all day. Uncle Bentley is not on his feet all day. Maybe not, but I am. All right, when it's your birthday, I'll get you an electric foot vibrator. Right now, I... There he is. He's got his golf bag with him. Now remember, be casual. Just find out if he'd like a new one. Leave it to me. I'd be so casual, he don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Have a nice golf game, Mr. Gray. Uh, in and out, Peter. Good front side, bad back side. What's wrong with your back side? <laughs> the last nine holes. I couldn't get off the tee worth a lick. Forget it. Oh, well, by the way, never mind dinner for me. I've got to be at a cocktail party in about oh, a half hour. Oh. What's the matter? Golf bag beginning to show mileage. Where? Right here. See beginning of rip. Maybe you better have a new one, huh? Nonsense. I've only had this bag two years. It's still fine. It looks pretty shabby to me. So what? Shabby look on a golf bag is like travel-worn luggage. Gives it a touch of class. This is more than travel-worn. This is really beat up. <laughs> what are you talking about? Very bad for an important man like you to play golf with shabby bag. What neighbors think? I don't care what the neighbors think. I care what neighbors think. All right, then you get yourself a new golf bag. I don't play golf. Well, then lay off me and my equipment. What is all this, anyway? Knocking my golf bag. Honestly, Peter, you've acted queerly at times, but this Why is, is it something... queer to dislike old piece of junk? This is not an old piece of junk. Certainly not new piece of junk. <laughs> For, forget it. I lost a golf match today, and I'm in no mood for this. If kind you of have a new golf bag, maybe you win for a change. <laughs> Just trying to be helpful. Great, Peter. Great. You were about as subtle as a meat cleaver. At least we're sure he don't need golf bag. And I'm right back where I started. What do I get Uncle Bentley for his birthday? Hi, anybody home? Oh, hello, Mr. Forrest. Uncle Bentley's upstairs. Well, Kelly, my sweet, would you be kind enough to announce me? No. Never mind. I'll go up and surprise him. Yes. I say, old boy, are you decent? Oh, oh. Come on in. Sorry I don't have much time to gab now. I'm dashing. Dash, dash, dash. That's all you Americans think of. Can't you relax for a moment? Just long enough to listen to a friend's problem. A friend, I presume, is you. And the 
Problem is, you want the phone number of that girl you met in my office yesterday, right? Well, uh, yes. Well, uh, no. Oh, come on, Dad. It's not for me. It's for an out-of-town impresario. He runs a string of nightclubs, coast to coast. And, and I want to be on his good side. You never know when my band is going to make Chuck, the... Chuck, you pulled that out-of-town impresario gag on me last month. I did? It didn't work then. It didn't? And it certainly isn't going to work now. It won't. No, I don't give out phone numbers, and you know it. That policy of the house. But how else is a guy supposed to meet a doll like... like what's her name? Her name is Ruth, and I'll tell you how to get to meet her. First, you study law for six years, then you open a practice, then you wait for a beautiful young starlet to come into the office who's having age in trouble, then you win her case. Wait a minute, now wait a minute. But Chuck, Ruth's phone number is in this little black book, and that is where it's going to stay. <laughs> now wait, Bentley. All I'm asking is what I myself would do for you. I'm sorry. Or what you yourself have done for me. Times have changed, old friend. But why? Remember Peggy Walsh? You introduced me to her. I took her out. I know. Well, what'd she have to say? She hasn't spoken to me since. <laughs> Bye, darling. See you later. Bye, Uncle Ben. I'll see you, Chuck. Oh, uh, play a little gin rummy with Peter. He gets lonesome. <laughs> you went out with Uncle Bentley. No, he wants to be alone, I guess. Oh. Well, I'm glad you're here. Maybe you can help me. I've got a problem. You see, the day after tomorrow is Uncle Bentley's birthday. And I have to get him a present, and he's got everything. A gift, huh? It's got to be something very special. In my book, there's just nobody like him. Well, maybe in your book, there's nobody like him. But in my book... In my book. Kelly, that's it. You've got an idea for a present? Why don't we throw him a surprise party? A surprise party? Sure, give his friends a chance to show him how much they love him. Gosh, Mr. Forrest, that's a wonderful idea. I never even thought of it. Where would we get a list of friends who love Bentley? You know, uh, some kind of an address book? Well, there's this little black book that he keeps all his, his phone numbers in. Great. You suppose you can get it without his knowing? It might be up in his uh, dresser drawer or something? Sure, Peter could do that easily. Sweetheart. You get me that little black book for just one day, I'll take care of the rest. Gosh, Mr. Forrest, it'll be a wonderful present, won't it? Couldn't ask for anything I'd rather have myself. <laughs> it was such fun running into you, Deline Bentley. And very nice of you to see me home. Well, I've been meaning to do that for some time, but I hadn't wanted to mix business and pleasure. Well, you managed to mix it very well. I've been wondering why you hadn't called me. Well, starting tomorrow, I'll remedy that. In fact, I may start tonight. Oh, Bentley. You're no longer a client, you know. What would you call me, a satisfied customer? With an unsatisfied attorney. <laughs> See, um, you don't have to have an album with some old family pictures you'd like to show me. We could sit in there and, uh... Oh, excuse me. Oh, no, I just this moment got in. Who? Chuck Forrest. Uh -oh. <laughs> no, I don't know. Did he say what he wanted? <laughs> ah. Oh, oh, just a moment, please. Uh, Bentley, it's my telephone answering service. There's a Chuck Forrest down the line, and it seems he's been calling me several times this evening and giving you a name as reference. Reference? <laughs> what does he want? Do you know him? He's been hounding me for your phone number. How he got it, I'll never know. Ruth? As your attorney, I think it's about time I took a little action. Now, get on the phone with him. Lead him on a little bit, and then, then hand me the phone. Hello? Uh, put him on, please. Hello, Miss Martin? This is she. Well, you may not remember me, but I was one of the judges in that beauty contest you won in Pasadena. Oh? Yes, it was my vote that swung the verdict in your favor. Oh. You may recall Bentley Gregg was on the same panel. We had a bitter battle. He thought you had an interesting face, but uh, a terrible figure. Oh? But I bought him tooth and nail. Hmm. Just what is it you want, Mr. Forrest? Well, when a fellow has fought tooth and nail for a girl, he'd uh, kind of like to see what's developed. Have <laughs> dinner with me tomorrow evening? Oh, I'd love to, but I already have a dinner engagement with Bentley Gregg. With the same fellow who said you had a terrible figure? <laughs> What would you suggest I do? Well, I suggest you call him up and cancel that date. Why, a fella like that, why, you won't regret it. How about it, honey? Tomorrow night? Hmm? 
I accept. Great, I'll pick you up. Ruth? Bentley. Bentley? Bentley. That's what I thought. I'll see you around, Joe. Wait a second, Chuck. Uh, how did you get this number? Uh, well, it was right there in your little black book. Oh, I mean... You took that black book out of my dresser drawer? No, of course not. I wouldn't do a thing like that. I... I... Uh, well, I got it from Kelly. Now, why would Kelly get it for you? Well, she likes me. Can't blame a kid for a thing like that. What's the matter, Bench? You look upset. I am upset. Why don't you just relax and I'll go find that family album you asked for. Uh, Ruth, uh, some other time. Right now I have some problems with my own family album. Now why would you do such a thing? Why? You knew that book was my property. But Uncle You ben deliberately I... took something that didn't belong to you and then you compounded this disgraceful act by giving it to somebody else. Now how could you do that, Kelly? How? Don't you realize that what you did was close to, close to... Why are you hollering at niece Kelly? I wasn't hollering at anybody. I just felt that a strong reprimand was in order. She did something that, well, something that surprised me. That whole purpose, to surprise you. What are you talking about? Your birthday Saturday. Mr. Forrest need book to call friends. What's so terrible about niece Kelly trying to arrange surprise party? Surprise party? Do you mean that... Do you mean that the whole thing... Oh. Oh, poor kid. What kind of a man am I? Hard to figure. Yesterday I tried to find out if you like new golf bag, you yell at me. Niece Kelly arranged party, you yell at her. Why you not kick Jasper on the way out? I'll apologize. Tell her that I'll call her when I get down to the office. Don't worry. I'll apologize to her somehow. Niece Kelly! Everything okay. I tell him off. He feel like 30 cents in Chinese money. Oh, Uncle Bentley. He was so upset. I'm the one who should apologize. No, no, no. Why, you gotta keep up a hand. Good experience for you when you get married. Peter, I don't know about that surprise party. It won't be a surprise anymore. I've got a better idea. Electric foot vibrator? No. I'm going to take Uncle Bentley out to dinner and then to the concert at the Philharmonic. It'd be a wonderful evening and he'd love it. You sure? Positive. Concert come, concert go. Electric foot vibrator here to stay. Here. Okay. You take him to concert. I take night off. And all the time, all she was trying to do was to organize a surprise party for guess who? Your boss, John J. Chump. You mustn't feel guilty, Mr. Gray. Why shouldn't I feel guilty? Well, for one thing, you have to be in court this afternoon and they might confuse you with your client. <laughs> I am going to make up for my boorishness. I'm going to help Kelly organize that surprise party. <laughs> You're going to organize a surprise party for yourself? Why not? She asked Chuck to help her, didn't she? All he was doing was... Which reminds me, get Chuck Forrest on the phone and tell him I'm swearing out a warrant for his arrest unless he returns that oh, black oh, book. He, he returned it this morning. It, it came in the mail this morning. Oh. Uh, with a note. Dear Counselor, I throw myself on the mercy of the court. I alone am the culprit. I cannot stand by and let an innocent kid take the rap. Send me to the chair. Bury me in oatmeal. But please, don't speak harshly to that dear little girl whose only crime was loving you too much. Oh. Get him on the phone. Tell him he's organizing this party in name only, that I'm taking over. And then get these people on the phone. Get Frank Curtis, Cal Mitchell, Elaine Rogers, Bert Loomis. Tell them to be at my house tomorrow night. Seven shop for a surprise party. And Kitty, tell them to RSVP with Kelly, but not to let on to her that I call them, right? Yes, Mr. Bank. Wherever you go, you're bound to notice more and more people are enjoying dual filter taritons. 
Whenever you see people lighting up, it's amazing to see how that Tarryton ring gets around. Yes, the up-and-coming favorite is easy to spot by the smart-looking white ring around the tip. But it's what's inside that tells you why Tarryton's dual filter does it. Filters as no single filter can for mild, full flavor. Let me show you. Here is a pure white outer filter. Here, and only Tarryton's have it, an inner filter of activated charcoal. Definitely proved to make cigarette smoke mild and smooth. Together, they give you flavor balance. The best taste of the best tobaccos. For mild, full, flavor plan. The dual filter filters as no single filter can. Dual filter, dual filter, tarry time. I'm sorry, Mr. Mitchell, the party's been called off. Yes. I'm taking him to Romanoff's instead. Yes. Thank you. Goodbye. Now, where were we? Oh, yes. A waiter? No, no, no. Captain. In high-class restaurant, you not call waiter. You call captain. Oh. <laughs> captain? Mademoiselle? You may serve us now. We have to be at a concert at 8.30 promptly. Oui, oui, mademoiselle. You will start with jambon, prosciutto, avec melon, no? Yes, please. And then the petite marmite maison. No, 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 Miss Kelly, not maison. Maison. Put G on N a word. Why? Don't ask me. Put G on N and talk through O. That make good friends. Maison. Maybe that's the ticket agency now. I hope they're good seats. Hello? Oh, hello, Mr. Curtis. No, the party's been called off. Yes, I'm taking him out to dinner instead. Thank you so much for calling. Goodbye. That makes six cancellations. We ought to give rain checks. Everybody's called but the ticket agency. What if I can't get seats? What'll I do then? If you ask me, an, an electric, electric foot, foot vibrator. <laughs> hello? Yes, this is she. Two seats in the tenth row, that's wonderful. Yes, I'll come by and pick them up. Thank you. Look like you're all set, huh? Thank goodness, I can finally make plans. Hello, Bentley Gregg's office. Hello, Kitty, may I speak to my uncle, please? Certainly, dear. Put him right on. It's Kelly. Oh. Oh, hello, darling. I've been meaning to call you. Uncle Bentley, you haven't made any plans for tomorrow night, have you? Why, no, no. I'm free as a bird. Well, it's your birthday, you know. My birthday? Why, so it is. What do you know? I, I clean forgot about it. I'm planning something. Could you be at Romanoff's restaurant at 7 sharp? Tomorrow night, 7 sharp, sure. Um, what's cooking? I'll tell you then. Goodbye now. Goodbye, dear. <laughs> Standard surprise party tactics. <laughs> See, I'm supposed to be at Romanoff's at 7 o'clock. Then I wait and I wait and Kelly doesn't show up. Then I get good and mad and I go home and the lights are out, the house is dark. And I open the door and I say, anybody home? And all of a sudden the lights go on <laughs> and all my friends yell, surprise, surprise. <laughs> I'm going to be here until after 7 tomorrow night and then I'm going to go straight home. Then you're not going to Romanoff's. Of course not. Kelly won't be there. Just a dodge to keep me away from the house an extra half hour. A brain, your boss. Thinking all the time. A party of four in the name of Denise Lakova. Thank you very much. Good evening. Good evening, Robert. Oh, Miss Gray. Yesterday a schoolgirl and this evening a young lady. Thank you. Um, is my table ready yet? Come and see for yourself. Excuse me. Oh, it's lovely, Robert. Just lovely. Thank you, Miss Gray. Would you like something now? Uh, no, thank you. I want everything to be just as it is till Uncle Bentley gets here. Very well.
and there was no answer. That means he's left. May I serve you something? I'll wait for him. It's his birthday. Perhaps if you call your home, he might be there. Yes, maybe I should. I'll bring the phone to you. All right. Thank you, Robert. Will you get me Crestview 54199, please? We got a great goulash tonight. Weekend special. Just coffee. Cheesecake? Danish? Just coffee. Sugar? No. Cream? Black. Are you on a diet? <laughs> no, no, my appetite is gone. So why pay attention to it? Order. Show it who's boss. Thanks. Where's your phone? What do you have? Just coffee. We got a great meatloaf tonight. Just coffee, please. Cheesecake? English? Uh-uh. Sugar? No, thanks. And black. You got no appetite either, huh? Nope. Another couple of customers like you, too, and I won't have any income tax problems next year. Not that I had any this year. Kelly! Well, what, what happened, happened to you? you? I, I thought was you were going to give me a surprise, surprise party at Romanoff's restaurant. At Romanoff? You mean when you asked me to meet you at Romanov's, you actually meant for me to meet you at Romanov's? Oh, darling, you've got the dumbest uncle in the business. If you want to give me up for New Year's, I'll go quietly. Oh, no, don't feel badly. After all, we are together. Yes. It was a lovely birthday party I planned. I had a big cake with, with just one candle on it. This your birthday, mister? Yeah. And you're gonna have black coffee? No, my appetite is back. Darling, what were you planning to have for dinner? Well, we were gonna start out with pâté de foie gras de Strasbourg. <laughs> Two chopped liver on toast. Grand chew on a wrap. And petite marmite maison. Tomato soup. Red Sea in a cup. <laughs> And then medaillon de veau mignonette. Corned beef hash with a poached egg on top. Burn two on a derby. And for dessert, we'll have crepe Suzettes. Flapjacks to you. Okay, birthday boy. What else were you planning? Well, I had two tickets for the Philharmonic, but never mind. Never mind? Allow me. Choose your own concert, miss. Now, what'll it be? There's the Morgan Combo. They're great. All right, our overture, the Morgan Combo. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear customer. Happy birthday to you. 
Well, make a wish and blow out the candle. All right. See what happens when a headache strikes. Look, pain mounts up. You feel dull, depressed. Tension puts nerves on edge. What do most doctors recommend? The ingredients in anison. Yes, medical surveys show three out of four doctors recommend the ingredients in anison. Anison for incredibly fast relief of pain of headache, neuritis, neuralgia. Here's why. Doctors know aspirin has only one pain reliever. At buffering, you still get only one. But anison is like a doctor's prescription. That is, a combination of ingredients to one, relieve pain, two, fight depression, three, calm jittery nerves. You get fast relief of pain, fight depression, calm jittery nerves. What wonderful relief. And anison doesn't upset my stomach. So remember, when pain strikes, aspirin, even with buffering, has only one pain reliever. Take Anison with pain relievers three out of four doctors recommend. Get Anison for fast, fast, fast relief of headache, neuritis, neuralgia. Good evening, Mr. Gray, Miss Kelly. How was party? It was wonderful, Peter. Quiet dinner, beautiful music. What more could a man ask? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Bentley. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Why, Chuck, what are you doing here? Me? I'm the one who organized this surprise party, but as it turns out, I'm the only one that showed up. Oh, golly, Mr. Forrest, I'm sorry. I forgot to call you and tell you what was called off. Think nothing of it. A present from me to you. From me? Oh, you shouldn't have. Bentley, it's from the heart. Our kind of friendship knows only giving. <laughs> Go ahead, Mr. Gray. Open present. Well, what's in it? Just what you've always wanted, an electric foot vibrator. Electric foot vibrator. Peter. <laughs> Folks, be sure to be back with us again next week. Meanwhile, remember, when headache strikes, do as I do. Take Anison. You'll get really fast pain relief with Anison. Good night. Bachelor Father has been brought to you by Dual Filter Tariton, product of the American Tobacco Company. Remember, tobacco is our middle name. Don't wait. Get your polio shots before it's too late. Don't take a chance. Take your polio shots. <laughs>